What's going on guys? How y'all doing? Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I uploaded anything, but first things first, Happy New Year. It is now 2022 and I can't believe I'm doing something I wasn't going to do, but I'm going to do it anyway, I think. And that is an updated CD collection video. Yes. The reason I wasn't planning on doing that is, well, if you follow my channel, I already had done this two other times. So I guess we'll do this once every year, I guess. Who knows? So last time we did it in four parts. This time I'm going to do something more challenging and try to do it in two. So... Let me move some of the stuff around and then we'll get to the collection on some of my favorite albums and other good albums. Stuff I've inherited from my parents or whatever else. These are only the ones that I have in the case, by the way. So enough jibber jabber. I guess we should get to the collection and get this over with. So I guess... We'll start off with the letter A, of course. We're going alphabetical order. I have letters and then numbers at the very end. So, first thing, first one up is Aaron Watson's Red Bandana. This is a Texas country album, if you've never heard of him, from Amarillo, Texas. Go check him out if you haven't yet. Although not one of my favorite country albums, it's still a good album to listen to. Every here and there. Now this one I had it's just a disc, but I found a case for it, so I put it in. But this is proof that I have it. Aerosmith Toys in the Attic. Yeah. I need to find the case for it. But that yeah, that's Aerosmith with the Toys in the Attic. It's a I guess an original CD pressing. I don't know if they remastered it or not. But yeah, that's Aerosmith. I want to get more of their CDs, come to think about it. Now, we come up to Alan Jackson's Greatest Hits collection. Nice. Uh... And then <sighs> it's so hot in here. Sorry, I got the heater on in here. But anyways, back to the collection. <laughs> Next up, we got Alan Asbury. I think that's his debut. I'm not sure what it's called. I can't read it. If you didn't know, I'm visually impaired. But by the way. Which I'm not, which means I'm not completely blind, but just can't see as good as y'all. So anyhow, so back to the collection. We got another. Uh, I think this is another Alan Hasbury. This is something my dad gave me. So yeah, sorry about that. Uh, we'll put that one there. And then one of my favorite, probably my favorite opera singer, Andrea Bucelli. This is his best of album, Vivere. Pretty good album. Especially for different language songs in Italian. This is really good for that kind of music. So, yeah. Andrea Bucelli. So then we get to Anointed, 1999. I think that's the self-titled. So yeah, that was another one my parents had a long time ago. Most of these are, or a lot of them are at least. And then, and then the last one up for the letter A is Avalon. 
don't know what it's called. I think it's a maze of grace. I could be wrong. Maybe just Avalon. I don't remember. It's one of those two. And then now beginning letter B. We get some classic country. Me with Billy Dean self-titled album. I think that's his debut. I think. And then one of my favorite country singers of today, we get Blake Shelton, Fully Loaded God's Country. Which is a good modern country album. Next one up, we got Reloaded, 20 number one hits. That's Blake from Blake Shelton. Now this one's a pretty cool find for theater music. Blue Man Group with their album debut, Audio. I still haven't found the Complex, the second CD of theirs, but yeah, I haven't gone to a Blue Man Group show yet, but hopefully one day. <laughs> Either way, that's them. Next artist is some 2000s Christian music. Brandon Heath. That's What If We. And then... Another 90s Christian music album. Brian Duncan, The Last Time I Was Here. He was more popular in the 80s, but I think this one's my favorite of his, of his albums, solo, from the Sweet Comfort Band from the 70s. So yeah, that's some facts you probably didn't expect to know. <laughs> and then we get some, some more classic, maybe some CCM classic Christian music. Uh, Cademan's Call 40 Acres. That's their, I think their second album, maybe their debut, possibly. Uh, then we get to Casting Crowns with The Altar and the Door. I have four of them. As far as modern contemporary Christian music goes, this is good. Then we got, this one's got all, a bunch of stickers because it won a lot of rewards. Casting Crown's debut album. This is the one that features Voice and Truth, Voice of Truth and Who Am I? And even If We Are the Body. It's a good classic Christian album from the early 2000s. If you're into that, like me. <laughs> and then the follow-up to the self-titled debut, Life Song. That's that in there. Uh, and then we get some Christmas music. There's Peace on Earth. Peace on Peace on Earth by Casting Crowns. Sorry about that stuttering. <laughs> so that's Peace on Earth by Casting Crowns. And then the next excuse me, next artist is Chris Deberg. Deberg. I think that's his self-titled album. Possibly his debut. I don't know about his. That's 80s music. Or I guess 80s pop, rock. That's the, song, that's the album that has Lady in Red in it. So, you yeah. know. Chris Tomlin, Arriving. Not one of my favorites, but probably one of my favorite Chris Tomlin albums. He's still good, though. No matter what. Uh, and then Crystal Waters. I think that's something else. I don't know. Something by Crystal Waters. Arms already getting tired. 
and then we get to classic country music. Clay Walker's debut, self-titled. Probably my favorite Texas country album, that or second. Cody Johnson, ain't nothing to it. For sure my favorite Texas country singer. But, yeah. And then this is one of my favorite dance tracks. This is another one I, so far I've only had the disc. I only haven't found the case yet that I know of. Dario G, Sunshine, the single. Yes, yeah, Sunshine is one of my favorite dance songs. Probably one of my favorite songs of all time, no or not. Then we get some more classic Christian music. David Crowder Band, Can You Hear Us? And then the last two on the first shelf, we got David Crowder Band, Church Music. And... Day of Fire's self-titled debut. So that's the first shelf. Next up, we get some, I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, DC Talk, Jesus Freak. I forgot I had that one for a second. My personal favorite DC Talk album, Supernatural. And then I guess we'll go to the next one. His next band is Decipher Down. This is a two compilation. I think it's called Two. Two CDs, one great price. Awesome. Good albums. One both of Integrate and Crash. So, yeah. If you haven't checked out Decipher Down, go check them out. They're pretty good, I'd say. Then we get some heavy metal, metalcore, Demon Hunter. This is Extremist. I still want to get their other albums. I just haven't really gotten the time to. I know I've gotten a bunch of CDs for Christmas. I just forgot to ask, you know, for those. So and then we get Disciple, Horseshoes and Hand Grenades. That's the next artist up. Uh, another Disciple, Long Live the Rebels. Hmm, probably my least favorite out of the ones I have, but still a good album. Horseshoes is probably my favorite. The last out, their newest album, Love Letter Kill Shot. And the last one for Disciple, Oh God, Save Us All. Probably my second favorite. It's, if you didn't know, I got uh, the first two Disciple CDs about 10 years ago with Horseshoes and Oh God, Save Us All. So yeah. Next artist, we are ready for letter E. Eddie B, Born Again Missionary, which is a good rare find of classic Christian music. Then we get Edgar Enrique, Wrap Me In Your Arms EP. And then we get to probably my favorite guilty pleasure, but favorite Celtic singer, Enya. Yes, I'm an Enya fan a little bit. This is her collection of CDs I have of hers. A Day Without Rain is the first one I had. Paint the Sky With Stars, the best of. From 1997, year I was born. Hold on a sec, I gotta rearrange there. Okay, continue the collection. So there's Shepherd Moons. The Celts, the debut, which was originally just called Enya in the, back in the day in the 80s when it first came out, but that was a 1992 re release. Probably my least favorite, or second least favorite, but good. The Memory of Trees. Yeah. 
And then we get to, from my least favorite to my favorite in the album, Watermark. Definitely her most memorable one. The one with Orinoco flow and stuff like that. So, yeah. And then we get to some dance music. Ian Void Dweller. Which they need to put this back on Spotify. I hope they do one day. See here, Eric Clapton unplugged. And as far as no, as, as far as you know, as far as I know, I mean, uh, for country music, this is the album that started it all for me. Eric Church, Chief. Definitely a good album. If you're looking for some different type of music and you're wanting to get into country, I would definitely start with that album. Because that was the one that I started with, ever. I mean, we had some other CDs, like I said. But, yeah, for me at least, Chief was a good way to start for me. So next one, we got his one of his two albums. I don't have the other one. This is Heart. I need to get his other one, other album, Soul, that came out along with that one. That was actually one of my Walmart pickups. And they didn't have, they only had Heart, not Soul, though, which was weird. See here, Eternal Decision, Ghost in the Machine, and finally for letter E, Everything But the Girl. I think this is one that has wrong on it. And then the next band is Family Force Five, one of my favorite bands, as far as Christian EDM slash rock. This is their debut. Business up front, party in the back. I have the Rare Diamond Edition. Pretty good album. Uh, the second album, Dance or Die, which was also removed from Spotify for some reason. I really hope they bring it back. Uh, three, which was what started me on them which is what got me into them with the song Wobble. And then the Cray Button, 3.5 EP or 3.5. Uh, and then since I'm a completist, I like this album though. It's one of my least favorites, but it's still good. The last one from them is Time Stand Still. This is with Crouton now on vocals. Until they broke up in 2017, a few years later after that album released. So that's shelf two. So we're a quarter of the way. FFH is next with I Want to Be Like You. Then we get some Fireflight, Unbreakable. Whoops. Hold on a second. Good save. And then... Speaking of female rock singers, Flyleaf's debut, definitely their best. I want to get the other one, the uh, Memento Mori, but I prefer this one, though. That's my favorite Flyleaf album, is the debut. Just a self-titled album. Then we get some classic prog rock. Genesis. Invisible Touch. Which is my personal favorite Genesis album. And this is of course the 2007 remastered. The version that has the messed up version of Tonight, Tonight, Tonight. But good CD though. I prefer the original version, but hey, it's got the rest of the songs are okay, are good. It's just one of my favorites got, you know, remastered and messed up. Anyway, then we get the George Strait, Pure Country soundtrack. Good album. If you're wanting to get in some classic country. 50 Number Ones by George Strait. This is another one of my Walmart pickups. It's 
Supposedly this is a new metal band, Gravity Kills. This is their debut from 1996. Which I like the songs Guilty and Down from that album. And then ooh, we get some Hawk Nelson, Live Life Loud. My personal favorite Hawk Nelson album is next. Smile, It's the End of the World. Which they have yet to make an album better than this one. And I don't think they're coming back after the deal with Jonathan Steingart, unfortunately. I don't want to go into detail, though. Oh, well. But at least I got my other ones from Jason Dunn. So here we got some classic hip-hop with House of Pain. This is their debut from the early 90s. The one with Jump Around. I guess that's what it is called. Just House of Pain Jump Around EP. And then, what is this? Oh. Uh, Jesse Velasquez is next, I think. Yeah, Jesse Velasquez with her self titled album. Jimi Hendrix Experience. This is. It. One of the rare CDs. I think this one has cross sound traffic on it. It's from the 60s, so I don't know. That was a rare, that was a uh, CD I didn't even get. That was one of my dad's or something. I don't know. Okay, next up, we get another one of my dad's from the 70s. Johnny Nash, I Can See Clearly Now. Good CD, good song. Probably my first favorite or second favorite uh, Texas country album, I guess, again. Josh Abbott Band, She's Like Texas. Really good Texas country album, I would say, even though it's not. The other Texas country scene doesn't really do much for me anymore these days, with a few exceptions, though, as you can tell. Then... We get to Josh Turner, I Serve a Savior. That's his gospel album from 2018, which is another one of my Walmart pickups that I found at Walmart, surprisingly. Uh, I guess Joy Williams, yeah, that's her. That's kind of like a greatest hits of hers. That's one of the ones my mom had a long time ago that I've inherited since then. And then Kathy Trockley, Corner of Eden. Then we had a local artist from a restaurant that we used to live in the area before we moved. But this is Kenny James mixing it up. If you're in the, uh, I guess, I don't know where he's at now. I think he moved to Tomball area of Houston. But if you're in that area where he is at, you got to go see him. He's a cool guy. This is another one of his records or albums. Wooden Heart. It's kind of a polka singer in a way. But who all but also sings some other familiar songs. Okay. Okay, here's one of my favorite bands, Cutlass. Hearts of the Innocent Special Edition. Their debut. Just a self-titled debut. Probably my second favorite of theirs, by the way. <laughs> yeah. 
Then we get to my personal favorite, Sea of Faces. Good early 2000s Christian rock album. Uh, Surrender, which I thought was their very best one in a long time, but I've heard that the next one goes back to their roots, so I'm hopefully that one will, will be better if they ever come back to their roots. And then the last one of Cutlass, to know that you're alive. Here's Lacey Sturm from Flyleaf's self solo album, uh, Life Screams. And then Latour Cold EP. I like the song Blue on that album. If you didn't know, it's in the movie Basic Instinct, I think. Whatever movie that was, I don't remember. Okay. Next up, we got my favorite Christian rapper, Lecrae. This is Gravity. Uh, excuse me. My personal favorite Lecrae album, Rehab. Yeah, I used to be the, a big uh, Lecrae fan. Now he's just okay, to me at least. There's been some controversy surrounding him, but he's still good, I believe. I still like some of his music. Then we get Jen Ledger or from Skillet's solo album, Ledger EP, which is a really good pop album, I would say, for an EP and a good debut. And then an artist who I've really grown to enjoy, Lenny Kravitz, Are You Gonna Go My Way? And then a band, another one of my favorite bands, Lifehouse. This is their greatest hits from 2017. And then probably... According to my memory, of course, out of this, out of the CDs I have here, this was the only Best Buy pickup that was around me that I know of, at least. This is LMFAO. Sorry for party rock, and I like the party rock anthem. Yes, crazy. I know, but yeah, that's a good CD. It's unfortunately unfortunate that. Best Buy I just decided to stop selling CDs, but especially the way especially the way that it phased out, like it did. But yeah, it's sad that CDs are slowly going out of business or going out of style. I mean, but yeah, because I'm a collector. <laughs> okay, next artist, Laura Story. I think this is the one with blessings. Not my personal favorite. But still good worship if, you, if you're into that kind of praise and worship music. Anyhow. I mean, that's good, though. And then Los Del Rio, the Marcarena EP or album. I don't know if that's Miss Fiesta Marcarena or not, but that's a matter, I guess, now. Then we get to one of my favorite country singers, Luke Bryan. Born here, live here, die here is next and then my personal favorite of his and favorite probably one of my favorite country albums of all time if not number one crash my party i know i've said that a million times now but it's true then we get madonna ep or something with two songs i don't know what it is I think it's a CD sampler of uh, some sort. Then we get Meyer Brennan, who is Enya's sister. This is the Perfect Time album. And then we get 
one of my favorite bands, Mercy Me. All that is within me. Their debut, Almost There, which you may know for with a song called I Can Only Imagine. Yes, that's the CD with that one on it. But that's still their biggest hit today, 20 years later. But still good album after all these years. Uh, coming Up to Breathe. Inhale, Exhale. The album that came out last year, 2021. Uh, it's Christmas, probably my favorite Christmas album of all time. And here we go. Lifer, the last album before Inhale, Exhale. And then we get the generous Mr. Lovewell. And then we get after that Welcome to the New. Oh shit, no, that's undone. Never mind. Undone. I'm sorry guys. I'm slipping up already. Dang. This is welcome to the new. Nice. Probably the only mistake I'll make tonight. Who knows? Who knows? Next artist, Michael W. Smith. This is Christmas time. Another one of my favorite Christmas albums. Live the Life by Michael W. Smith. And the 1999 album, uh, This Is Your Time. And then we got Michelle Toombs, Center of My Universe. And Dream. And then the very last video, I mean last... CD I want to show you in this video part one Mighty Dubcats Magic Carpet Ride All right, so that's my CD collection updated part one What do you think so far? Do you have any of these CDs? Are you a fan of these bands? so Let's continue on till then next time